Hello, Grace TC. This is Joe Waskew coming to you with the May 6th Daily Prayer Project. This will be the AM session. Uh, I was told I need to smile more here, but it's really hard for me to smile at commands. So here he goes. Now we got that out of the way. Let's uh, continue. So we start out this morning with the call. Awake, my glory. Awake, O harp and lyre. I will awake the dawn. And that rolls right into the psalm that we're reading today, which is Psalm 29. Ascribe to the Lord, O heavenly beings. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Worship the Lord in the splendor of holiness. The voice of the Lord is over the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord over many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars. The Lord breaks the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon to skip like a calf, and Syrian like a young wild ox. The voice of the Lord flashes forth flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord makes the deer give birth and strips the forest bare. And in his temple all cry glory. The Lord sits enthroned over the flood. The Lord sits enthroned as king forever. May the Lord give strength to his people. May the Lord bless his people with peace. You're starting to feel it. You're starting to wake up. You get the shoulders going. You're starting to... Mm. Yeah, I'd be starting to feel it. Roll right into the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And that's the foundation we're going to use to start the day. Uh, spend some time in silence or song. Um, I've been spending time listening to the Epic Praise Spotify playlist. I highly recommend um, but spend it how you would wish right now. And I will move us into the New Testament reading today, which is Romans 10, 14 through 21. How then will they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how are they to believe in him of whom they have never heard? And how are they to hear without someone preaching? And how are they to preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who preach the good news. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah says, Lord, who has believed what he has heard from us? So faith comes from hearing, and hearing through the word of Christ. But I ask, have they not heard? Indeed they have, for their voice has gone out to all the earth, and their words to the ends of the world. But I ask, did Israel not understand? First Moses says, I will make you jealous of those who are not a nation. With a foolish nation, I will make you angry. Then Isaiah is so bold as to say, I have been found by those who did not seek me. I have shown myself to those who did not ask for me. But as Israel, he says, all day long I have held out my hand to a disobedient and contrary people. As we move into the time of confession and assurance, I... Uh, feel like I need to confess that I have not proclaimed the gospel, uh, as we just read, um, have not spread the hearing of it in uh, any sort of adequate way. And I uh, will take these before the Lord right now in uh, my time of confession. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me as sinner. You can spend some time in quiet reflection. And as we move into the assurance, for I am sure that neither death nor life, nor angels nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. As we spend some time abiding in God, uh, it says here, pause at the start of a new day, enjoy communion with the living God. Father, Son, and Spirit, listen for the voice of God in the scriptures. Read, meditate, pray, contemplate, seeks God's, seeks God's face. 
maybe we should spend some time contemplating uh, maybe why we have not shared our faith with others, why we have not shared the good news. Uh, are we letting uh, others with that responsibility, you know, we're not maybe gifted with that, might be one way of saying it. Uh, maybe we're scared. Um, we fear that they will think we're crazy. They uh, will not want to be friends with us or in relationship with us, co-workers with us. Um, or maybe it's the feeling of hypocrisy of our own faith, that we feel like it's not that strong. Uh, we don't feel like it's our authentic selves sometimes. Uh, we feel like we'll let God down uh, by sharing it. Uh, and so in this time, let's come before God with those and uh, spend some time in silence just uh, listening for his voice. All right, you've unpaused your videos now. And so I will close this out by reading from the prompted prayers for today. Um, we'll be praying for hearts that savor and share the gospel of Christ. So what we were just talking about with the abiding. Uh, for those who are grieving death right now. And for those who are victims of domestic violence. And we'll end with the Lord's Prayer, which I encourage you to say out loud with me. So let's pray. Dear Lord, we come before you uh, as imperfect people knowing that you uh, and your power is made perfect in our weakness, Lord. May we never forget that only in you um, is found the power and strength we need um, to take on this world. Lord, we pray for changed hearts. We pray that um, not only would we share you with others, Lord, but that we would be happy and ecstatic to do it, um, that we would see it as true authenticity, that we would have courage, that you would raise up others in our life to show us the way and encourage us, and Lord, that we would be a church that uh, shares and proclaims and um, is uh, unabashed where that takes us, Lord. May you give us the, the strength and the, the calm that your word provides us in this time. And may we trust, Lord, that in this um, we will find joy in sharing your word, even in times of rejection, harsh rejection. Lord, you also lift up those who are grieving a death um, or maybe even grieving a job loss. Um, Lord, I know that it's, uh, I confess that I can be selfish at times thinking that this COVID-19 um, means rest for me and relaxation sometimes, but I know that for others it is immensely painful. And Lord, I pray that you would convict my heart to be more proactive in reaching out to, to others. Um, you know, you make us more proactive um in reaching out just to listen um, and lord would you heal those who are grieving amongst us and lord I, I also lift up those who are struggling in domestic violence uh, relationships pray lord that you would provide protection that you would pri provide justice that you would provide mercy um, in these situations lord that you provide outlets for the, the most vulnerable in these relationships and Lord we also pray for those who are, are perpetrating um, the domestic violence Lord uh, we pray that you would soften hearts and provide justice where needed um, and Lord we lift up all these things in your name and we end with your the way that you taught us to pray Lord our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. 
forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead me not into temptation, Lord. Lead us not into temptation, Lord, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and glory forever and ever. Amen. Thanks, Ray CC, and can't wait to see you guys in person.